Okay, this video deals with uh, chapter 6, number 38, which is on page 250. And students had asked questions about this. And it says, do the interruptions while you are working reduce your productivity? According to a University of California, Irvine study, business people are interrupted at the rate of approximately five and a half times per hour. Suppose the number of interruptions follows a Poisson probability distribution. Now, I'm going to highlight or add some emphasis here to five and a half times per hour. I think it's important that we start to train our minds to focus on this type of detailed information. Okay? Then the next thing that we're going to look at is that they tell us that this follows a Poisson probability distribution. Now I'm going to add emphasis to this also, but you may remember that the Poisson probability distribution would deal with discrete probabilities. And what we're dealing with here is continuous probabilities. Now part A of this question says, show the probability distribution for the time between interruptions. If this were a discrete random variable, it would not ask us for time between. And so that's a very key word. A Poisson would say, are there five potholes in the next one mile of road? Okay, that for example, as I change over here, would be a Poisson probability. We need to use an exponential probability, which deals with continuous random variables instead of discrete. So again, how many would be a discrete question. We would say there are x potholes, okay? But in an exponential, or, actually, or x interruptions within a, a period or some space or distance, okay? So we would focus in on how many x's, how many successes. But when we talk about an exponential probability, we are talking about a continuous variable. And so we start to focus on the time, the space, the distance between, let's say, x1 and x2. Okay, so we are focused again on the time between, where x1 and x2 might be uh, between pothole number one and pop pothole number two. So again, the discrete version would be, you know, are there five potholes, whereas the exponential probability would be the time between the first pothole and the second pothole. Okay. All right. As we go back to our problem, again, we are looking at time between. So although they told us that it was a Poisson probability, we know that because it talks about the time between, and on page 246 of your book, they explain this, that this is an exponential probability distribution. That means that we would use the formula that is provided by the authors on page 246, and that function would describe the shape of the curve. Now we see the letter E there. That would tell us it's an exponential curve. And 1 over mu would give us the coefficient, which will affect the height, right? OK. Now, it does tell us that this is for the range of x greater than 0 and for mu, or greater than or equal to 0 and for mu greater than 0. And so we could plug in, for example, an x of 0 would tell us where it crosses the axis of f of x. So as we go back to the problem, we need to show the probability distribution. So we need to plot the graph. Now we're going to use our function, and we're going to talk about the function f of x being 1 over mu, but of course mu was given as 5.5. So we can just plug those values in, and we'll get 1 over 5.5 times e raised to the negative x, and we do not yet know what x is, divided by 5.5. Now, if we wanted to know where it crossed the axis, we could certainly put in a value of 0 for x into our equation, and we would find out that that solves for 0.181818. And that would tell us where it crosses.